Truck Trial is a motorsport for real men. Fifteen tonners thunder through muddy ditches that would defeat the best of regular off-roaders. Through pure power and eight heavily traded wheels, the behemoths battle for supremacy in the most challenging of conditions. The setting for the most recent meet of the German Championship Tour was the Camp for Fun, nearby the famous Nürburgring. Uwe Hüppertz and his team can make sure of the title here today. Only a few points stand between them and the winner's trophy at this highest level. The most important element is the right tactical approach. You don't really steer, it drifts. And then you have to try to leave the gates up and you aren't allowed to break them. That's the challenge, really. To only take that much power to get to them and, if possible, leave them there. If not, you break the car. You have to drive powerfully. If not, you'll break the car. Truck trial is like a time slalom. Gates are arranged on the course through which the drivers must negotiate their vehicles in a fixed order. The start of the first trial and Uwe Huppertz knows that if he wants to be the champion, he mustn't make any mistakes. But after just meters, disaster strikes. The overhanging front of the vehicle is too large and the behemoth digs itself into the mud, lifting six of eight wheels helplessly in the air. All attempts at shifting the stranded beast failed. Despite 320 horsepower and over 1,100 newton meters of torque, the Tatra is like a beetle on its back. Uwe Huppert has to give up, and the championship eludes his grasp. They're going to have to tow me out. I can't get out. It looks like his race is over. Oh, shame. Normally, I'd use stronger language. <laughs> The shame indeed. The Tatra can only be saved by accepting help from a rival, a modern and heavily overhanging Mercedes Actros. The spectators watch to see whether the 30-year younger truck can do better. In terms of build, the Mercedes holds all the trumps. It's not as low as ours, it'll just go over it. It's got a bit more oomph, hasn't it? That's one way of putting it. The Mercedes delivers around 600 horsepower to its four axles. It's a case of David versus Goliath. The competition breezes through the test. Uwe Huppertz loves the challenge, though, even as an underdog plagued by his equipment. Seeing four-axle 50-tonner like that moving through terrain when people tell you, you'll never make it through, you'll get stuck. That's the beauty of it all, for me anyway. A typical time trial at truck trials can look like the mad maneuvers of a grandmother in a supermarket car park. But behind every back and forth lies a certain logic. The point is to knock over as many of the strategically placed gates as possible. The team from Leipzig start the second trial. To still have a chance of the title, they need to score some points here. The aging Tatra can't show any weaknesses now. A clipped gate, a lot of swerving, driving over markings. The umpires note down every single mistake. The Tatra team is dogged by misfortune. Right in the middle of a gate, the massive tires spin helplessly in the mud. The umpire thinks it over, but Uwe has other ideas. What? We were in the gate. We are in the gate. But we have driven into the gate. After driving into the gate, the driver has to turn around. The number of points in the turn is limited, though, so there's no room for indecision. Grit, please. Well, I will stop here for now. You can drive around the gate. The Tatra is allowed to turn once more. A tactical retreat is the best strategy, however. This gate doesn't count, so every other point gained in the run is precious. It wasn't a perfect result, but Uwe is satisfied. A clean run on the next trial and the championship is in the bag. The Tatra 813, built in 1973, bears the scars of hundreds of trials. Its 18-litre V12 diesel is unbeatable. One weakness, with 1,100 newton meters of torque, the engine can snap drive shafts like matches. Usually, though, the massive front end smashes a way through. 
Either you block him horizontally, so, like, really hurt it, I would say. It's so steep, I'd say. If you commit it, we'll keep pushing you forward. With the horizontal block, it's blocked at the front and steerable. And if you have both, we've seen that before, then you are hanging on to the steering. Under the back of the vehicle, there are tons of steel for stability. Welded iron makes the chassis even stiffer. Shock absorbers on the front axle and flat spring suspension on the back dampen the brutal jolts. The axle is raised to allow for a clearance of 1 meter 60 centimeters. Is all this extra technology enough to beat the Actros? The penultimate trial of the season. The overhang causes problems for the competition. It's only luck that keeps the truck from rolling. Truck trial means the massacre of equipment. Huge boulders smash against the underside of the Actros. The machine is at its limit, and Uwe can feel this may be his chance. It takes patience for the rivals to get through. Man-sized boulders are pushed aside. Eventually, the Actros crosses the line, but it's anything but a perfect run. With the right tactics, the Tatra could make it count here. That we managed to get over the first bump at the front, get through the gate in one go, and then shoot up just like him. The obstacle is more slippery and steeper than it looks. Even Reinhold Messner would have trouble getting up this one. The off-roader steadily rolls up to the steepest point. It looks like electrical problems may scupper the whole thing. But this is all about the title, and nobody is giving up. At the right moment, the Colossus sets itself back in motion and conquers the obstacle. A normal SUV wouldn't stand a chance here, but the old Tatra shows once again what it is capable of. The final stretch. If everything goes smoothly, now the season's goal will be realized. But then, the Tatra's nose gets buried in the mud again. A moment of terror. Every effort causes further electrical problems. The championship hangs in the balance, but this time everything comes together and the machine makes short work of the rough terrain. We're being pushed too far away. He needs to be closer to you with his ass. Just a couple of centimeters stand between the 15-ton machine and the fragile gate. Everyone's nerves are on edge. I think we haven't done badly with all our mistakes. And they've done it. The Tatra team have pulled every bit of power out of their old truck and are champions as they cross the line. Super. Great. Flawlessly done. German champion. A 34-year-old vehicle wins the championship. This kind of thing can only happen in truck trials. Stamina is what counts here, and that's what the Tatra has in abundance.